Welcome to in 5 minutes. Now we'll see algorithms with iterations. Iteration simply stands for repetition. Sometimes it is required that some group of steps in our algorithm must be repeated multiple times to achieve particular task or to achieve particular result. Now there can be two cases or two different scenarios in which we need to repeat the statements again and again. First case is we need to repeat some group of statements compulsory n number of times. So we need to repeat some group of statements 5 times or 100 times or 10 times depends on the condition. Or sometimes we need to repeat some statements or repeat some steps again and again till some result is achieved. See the first case in which we need to repeat something fixed number of times. Example is like this. A teacher instructs a student to write answer to some question let's say 10 times. So in that case student is going to repeat same task that is writing the same answer again and again 10 times. So it's a fixed amount of time he is writing that answer. That is student does something 10 times that is fixed amount of times. The other way is that the teacher can instruct the student to write the answer to the question till he remembers the answer. Now in that case the student may write the answer 5 times, 10 times, 25 times. It depends on after how many iterations or after how many repetitions he remembers the answer. So there the count is not fixed. The result is fixed. That is till you remember the answer we need to keep writing the answer. So here we have to again repeat the answer but not for fixed amount of time. It is till some result is achieved that is in this case till student remembers the answer. So there are two ways we can write the iteration. One is for fixed amount of time to repeat or it can be till some result is achieved. In that case count is not fixed. A typical algorithm we will write will be like this. It will start with normal start command and some steps it will execute sequentially one after other. Then we will put algorithm in such a way that some part of the algorithm or some steps in the algorithm will repeat multiple times. It can be 5 times, 10 times, 100 times or till some condition is achieved and then the algorithm will follow next steps again sequentially and stop finally. Now to write the algorithm in this way we are given a syntax like this. We write while some condition is true repeat the statements written in begin and end keywords. So these are typical syntax we have to follow. The condition can be any condition that we have to write but these three keywords we have to write as they are. And here to repeat the statements which statements to repeat we need to write in the begin and end. There can be one statement to be repeated or there can be multiple statements or multiple steps to be repeated. So obviously again in this case we will have some algorithm here and some steps here also. As the algorithm will start we will execute these steps sequentially. Then at this stage computer will make a decision to check whether this condition is true. If it is true it will execute this part and jump up and check the condition. If it is found true again the computer is supposed to perform these operations and then go up and check the condition. So this will be repeated multiple times till this condition holds true. When this condition holds false, the program will just jump from here down and execute remaining statements sequentially. So you have seen the selection statement in which computer checks for is the condition true, execute the statements and goes down. In this case, it is just going to repeat these statements again and again till the condition holds true. That is how we write commonly any iteration statements. Now when you are writing any iteration or when you are repeating some task, how we normally do it? 